In this video, we will learn about the demographic transition in India. We all know that the population of India is very high. The country has doubled in size in just 40 years. At present, the annual growth rate of India's population is around 1.1%. If you see China's annual population growth, it is around 0.6%. By looking at a population growth rate, it is estimated that India will surpass China as the world's most populated country in the next couple of decades. Have a look at this table. It shows the population growth rate of India for every 10 years. In this table, the growth rate of population in India over the last one century is given. You will notice India's population is growing consistently, but the decadal growth rate of population has been falling. It was 21.54% in 2001, and in 2011, it came down to 17.64%. But if you look at in terms of size, population continues to rise. I'll tell you the reason behind it in a much more comprehensive manner. You see, to understand the population growth of India, it has been divided into four different phases. I'll explain each and every phase so that you have a clear idea about the demographic history of India. Let's look at the first phase. It is from 1901 to 1921. This period is called period of stagnant population. In this period, the population growth rate was very low. The population was more or less stagnant. You see, there are three main causes of population change. Birth rate, death rate and migration. So always think in terms of these three causes. Any country's population will be stagnant if the birth rate is counterbalanced by the death rate. In other words, in a given population, if there are 10 new births and 10 deaths, there will be hardly any change in the population. This is what is called stagnant population. So from 1901 to 1921, India's population was stagnant. If you see, in 1921, the population was around 25 crore 13 lakhs 21,213. That means the birth rate was high. However, the death rate was high too. There are some solid reasons behind that time's high birth rate and high death rate. At that time, India was under the British rule. The distribution system of food, medical and other basic necessities were poor and inefficient. Then illiteracy rate was high. People died due to epidemics like influenza, plague, smallpox. India also faced shortage of food due to drought. So all these factors were responsible for high birth rate as well as high death rate. And that led to the stagnation of the population. Now we'll look at the second phase. The second phase is from 1921 to 1951. This period is referred as the period of steady population growth. If you remember in the previous phase, both the birth rate and death rate were high, and that led to stagnation. After 1921, the mortality rate went down and population started growing at the rate of more than 1% per year. Why? Simply because there was an overall improvement in health, education and sanitation throughout the country. These developments helped in controlling epidemics like cholera, plague and malaria. As a result, the birth rate remained high, which led to steady population growth. Keep in mind, during this phase, the World War I had just finished and the Great Depression started in 1929. While most of the important countries in the world were affected, India had some development going on which was quite impressive. The third phase is from 1951 to 1981. This period is referred to as the period of population explosion in India. Population explosion means that the birth rate was high, but the death rate or the mortality rate fell rapidly. The average annual growth rate was as high as 2.2% per year. Keep in mind, it was also the post-independence era. While India found itself independent from the British, but it was still facing a shattered economy and countless social, economic and political problems. That is how the government of India in 1950 had set up the planning commission to create, develop and execute India's five-year plans. Eventually, developmental activities were introduced through a centralized planning process and the economy started improving, which also improved people's lives. Besides high birth rate, many people from neighboring countries like Tibet, Bangladesh, Nepal and even people from Pakistan migrated to India which contributed to India's population explosion. 
The last and the fourth phase is from 1981 to 2011. This period is also referred to as the period of high growth with definite sign of slowing down. In simple words, although the population growth rate was still very high, but it started declining after 1981. Why? Simply because the birth rate was going down. In the last phase of the 20th century, the drop in the birth rate largely happened through a family planning program that is sterilization, then increase in the mean age of marriage, improved quality of life, particularly education of females in the country. So these were the reasons behind the downward trend of birth rate. Although the population growth rate declined from 2.2% in 1971 to 2.14% 2 in 1991 and further to 1.95% in 2001 and finally to 1.64% in 2011. But if you see, it was still higher than the world population growth rate of 1.23%. So this is what we mean when we say this period is also referred to as the period of high growth with definite sign of slowing down. So this declining trend marks the beginning of the new era in the demographic history of India.